Hello students, environmental science, lesson 1, controlling air pollution. So today we are going to learn the lesson about controlling air pollution. In your lower classes, you have already learnt about pollution and causes, effects and all that, isn't it? Today we are going to learn more and more about pollution definition, air pollution and air pollution definition and furthermore how to control air pollution. So now we are going to learn definition of pollution. Pollution is the effect of undesirable changes in our surroundings that will have harmful effects on plants, animals and human beings. Anything which causes harmful effects, then we call it as pollution. So air pollution refers to excessive concentration of foreign matter in atmosphere, undesirable matter in atmosphere. The definition by WHO, that is World Health Organization. So here children, an important point. Anytime if they ask you to write definition, it is always better to write WHO definition limited to us limited to situations in which outdoor ambient atmosphere contains harmful materials in concentration which are harmful to man and its environment. I repeat limited to situations in which outdoor ambient atmosphere contains harmful material in concentration which are harmful to man and his environment. So anything which is harmful to man and his environment is called pollution. And it is in, with respect to the atmosphere, it is called air pollution. Why do we need air? We need air for many reasons. Without air, we cannot survive, isn't it children? So we need air for breathing. Plants need for breathing and also for photosynthesis. Plants prepare food for the entire living world by photosynthesis. We need air for burning. Air also is medium for transmission of sound. Imagine in space, sound will not travel. So for the sound to travel, medium is required. Which is the important medium here? Air is a medium through which sound transmission is done. So air is essentially as an important natural resource. Every human being breathes up about 22,000 times a day, inhaling 12 to 16 cages. Air per day, which is nearly about 15 to 16 times than the food we eat. So coming to air's composition, what is air made up of? It's called composition of air. Air is a mixture of gases, mainly nitro nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, other gases that includes noble gases also 0.97%. Carbon dioxide 0.03%. Along with this, there are various quantities of dust and water vapor are also present. Types of pollutants. Pollutants are mainly solids, liquids, gases, anything it can be. So here we are talking about air pollution. So in the air, mainly these are the pollutants we come across. Carbon oxides, namely carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides, volatile organic compounds, mostly hydrocarbons. You know about hydrocarbons? They, they are generally released by our air conditions, refrigerators, like that. Then suspended particulate matter such as aerosol, mist, dust, smoke, fume, fog, smog, etc. So now we are going to learn certain measures for air pollution, control measures for air pollution. So in this entire lesson 1, we are going to learn how to control air pollution. Certain measures, as a human beings, we have to take certain measures to control air pollution. Isn't it? So our role, how we can control we are going to learn in different units. 
using solar energy, air pollution act, pollution controlling equipments, zoning, controlling air pollution from vehicles. Okay. So first we are going to learn the first unit we are going to learn use how using solar energy. First of all, what is solar energy? Solar energy is the energy which is given out by the sun. Sun is an exact sun is an inexhaustible source of energy. What is meant by inexhaustible source of energy? So you go on use it. You go on use it. It, get, it will not get over. That is why we call it as inexhaustible source of energy. So there are certain energy energies which will be exhaustible. Like LPG. In your house you will bring LPG cylinder. After 30 days it, it becomes empty. That means it got over. Similarly, certain sources like petroleum etc. will get exhausted. Whereas sun is an inexhaustible source of energy. The solar energy can be used for cooking food, to boil water and to produce electricity. The biggest advantage of solar energy is it does not bring any pollution. It does not bring any pollution. Now we are today we are going to learn about solar cooker. What is solar cooker? First of all, what is solar cooker? Where is it used? Solar cooker is a device which is used to cook food by utilizing the energy radiated from the sun. So here we need not use anything like kerosene, petrol and all. Directly we are using which energy here? Solar energy, right. Solar energy. So a solar cooker is a device which is used to cook food by utilizing the energy radiated by the sun. Then what is it? How is it made up of? What are the parts of it? How we can make it? We can also make children a small model you can also prepare. A solar cooker consists of an insulated metal box or a wooden box which is painted all black from inside. You would have seen it is about our micro oven size. Okay, box. There is thick glass sheet cover over the box and a plain miller reflector is also attached to the box. The food to be cooked is placed in a metal container and the container is kept in the box and covered with glass sheet. The food container is painted black from outside. So you could see sun, sun's rays falling onto the glass sheet covered on it. A reflector. Reflector is nothing but a plain mirror there. Okay. You can see container having food to be cooked inside. This is a schematic diagram. Okay. So it's outer wooden box. So we keep the way. In microwave we have front door here on top the cover will be. When the sun rays fall on the reflector, the reflector sends them to the top of solar cooker in the form of a strong beam of sunlight. The sun rays pass through the glass sheet cover and get absorbed by the black surface in the box. Now about one third of sun rays consists of infrared rays which have a heating effect and once infrared rays enter the box then the glass sheet does not allow them to go back. In this way more and more the infrared rays or heating rays of the sun get trapped in the box black box due to which the temperature in the box rises to about 100 degrees C which is boiling point of water. This heat cooks the food kept in the black container. The use of black surface mainly the main reason for painting the box with the black color is the black surface absorbs more heat than any other color. Now, now we move on to solar heater. Another use of solar energy or in a domestic area. Another device we are going to use is solar heater. You might have come across the solar heaters. You might have come across on terraces. You might have seen. Nowadays it is there everywhere on top of the house. They use it for hot water. A solar heater is a device to supply hot water by using solar energy. 
a solar water heater can be installed on the top of the flat roofed buildings and provide domestic hot water throughout the year in a climate like India. So in our India, throughout the year, not in the cold countries. Okay. Now it consists of an insulator water storage tank with an inlet for cold water and an outlet for hot water. You can see that inlet for cold water in the bottom line and outlet on top. The cold water is passed through the iron pipe fitted with the collector. The water absorbs heat from the collectors, becomes hot, moves upward into upper portion of storage tank and then can be taken out through an outlet for use. Such solar water heaters are not widely used because of high cost. But nowadays they are using, you find it everywhere. Almost many houses they are installing. See this conserves so much of energy. Understand? The next device you are going to learn is solar still. Solar still is used mainly in a countries where they don't get much of fresh water. For the portable water, fresh water, they get water from sea water, convert them into fresh water and then start using it. Such countries it is widely used. A solar and it is also used in some of the villages. They use this for converting sea water into fresh water. Solar still is a device for obtaining fresh water from sea water and it is also like solar water heater system only. It is also on the rooftop only. Okay. Now what is it made up of? It is made up of a flat rectangular tube about 3 meters to 2 meter wide. Like a big tank 3 meters to 2 meter wide. You have one dining table size, okay? Small dining table size, 2 meters. 3 meter long and 2 meter wide. And about 0 0.2 meters height. Its upper part is slanting towards the base and also has U-shaped construction to let the fresh water flow down into a container. It has a blackened surface to absorb more sunlight and is covered with transparent cover made of glass or plastic film which allow the sunlight to pass through it. See by this what you saw you observe both in solar cooker or solar heater or in solar still whatever it may be the surface is colored black it is the reason is to absorb more heat what it, than any other colors. So they might ask you this as give reason to you. Give reason question. Give reason why solar devices have the surface colored with black color. Then you will say it absorbs more heat than any other color. Understood? And always the transparent covers. Covers here also because they have to allow the light rays to pass through them. And reflectors are plain mirrors. Plain mirrors they reflect that reflect the light. That is the reason. The sun's now how it works, solar still works. The sun's heat evaporates the water in the tub, leaving behind residue of the salt. The vapor from evaporated water condenses on the surface of the cover and trickles down into a container which thus collects fresh water. These solar stills are being given free to the villages in the areas where there is acute problem of shortage of drinking water. Did you understand? Now a few questions I am going to give you. Got it? So first of all, many questions can be asked children. Sometimes they give you diagram and ask you to label. Got it? And sometimes they ask you questions on the they are called diagram based questions. For example, they will ask you solar cooker. They take solar cooker. They ask you a question. Give reason why solar cookers are painted black on the outer surface. 
the inner surface that is that might be one question and define solar cooker and what is the energy used how much degree centigrade the rise in temperature in a solar cooker these are the common questions and coming to a assignment children whatever assignments are given here you are going to submit them regularly we will have a track of it we'll make a note and we'll have a track of it so you are going to submit on the reopening day let it be any day the first day when you are coming you are coming suppose i'm giving you 10 assignments all the 10 assignments pinned together with the a4 sheet properly pinned write your name class section and then submit on the reopening day is that clear so assignment for this topic is a working you prepare a working model of any one of the given devices using the recyclable material at home which is available at home like plastic bottles saline tubes the in government has in the hospitals and all they used to saline tubes and plastic bottles like that are wires plastic wires whatever are available use them and prepare solar cooker and solar heater any one any one working model and other than that you have to write these questions only once not many times only once define the following pollution air pollution solar cooker solar heater solar still thank you Just a minute.